What is the meaning of this, Trista? You're pushing me away against Kunsan after I took the spear I did? You think I'm really in painful? No, I am more buried than ever after I took that vicious death spear through that ramp. And now you're telling me you're pulling me away from the actions I did against Kunsan? Girl, Kunsan just took out Sailor Moon's soul. I don't want him to get away from this. And I don't want you to push me away from this. I'm still going out there, and I'm still going after Kunsai once and for all. And there's no way you could get away from me from this. Right, Terra. I'll deal with this terror by myself. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. What the hell just happened from Dominator? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Chris Gary. Our next contest is the first male contest of the evening scheduled for one fall. Introducing first really need no introduction to world over, but I'll give him one anyways. Standing in the 6 feet 8, weighing in at 250 pounds. Originally from Akron, Ohio, in St. Vincent St. Mary's High School. Now residing on South Beach in Miami, Florida. He is the king of hoops and douchebaggery. Love Rules! James! Here comes Oklahoma City's worst nightmare, LeBron James, the most valuable, the, he became, the third time MVP in NBA. He won two NBA Finals titles for the Miami Heat. The most valuable player in the NBA Finals. The most dominant player you have ever seen in the NBA today. And now he's becoming the biggest icon in UCCW. That could be bad. And his opponent could be... The Guardians of Killer. The United States Champion. And look at that new belt. There he is. And his opponent. Standing in at 6 feet 2 inches tall. Why are you gonna do it at 35 pounds and tell it from Frank Lewis Missouri? He is the guardian of killer, Gordon Speaking of the United States Championship, he will defend his title at Killer Instinct in Chicago against Travis. Wait a minute! Travis! Out of nowhere, he's attacking Curtis! Oh boy, oh no, is he really? There's a match! Travis just left the ring and distracts Curtis! Oh no! Uh, the greatest slam dunk of all time! Damn it! And the fans are pissed. Here it goes. One, two. That's it! Good luck for the finals, people! Good luck for the finals against the Heat. You're gonna be screwed. LeBron James just beat. He just watched it because he gets distracted by Travis Jackson. Things are going to be very serious at Killer Instinct, folks. Do not miss it on pay-per-view. I'm serious. This is going to be huge from Travis Jackson and Curtis Sanchez. And your winner of this contest, the king of basketball and shenanigans, LeBron James. Yeah, good luck in that situation, Thunder fans. You're gonna be, you're gonna need a lot of workout to handle this monster, the King of NBA. Yeah, Miami's ready to see you guys again. We gotta take a quick commercial break here on Friday Night Showdown.
welcome back to Friday Showdown, folks. Our next contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, standing in at two inches under six foot, or five foot ten, weighing in at two hundred forty-two pounds, and coming from somewhere in Japan, Go! We have seen Goku for a while here in UCCW, and there he is! Ready to start his match tonight here on UCCW. Here on Friday Night Showdown in a single career in Showdown. While uh, Gohan, his son, is going to be on Warzone. And they'll be able to each other. They will reunite as soon as possible. It's not like it's not over yet. Finally, we'll get something serious match since LeBron James squashed Curtis Sanchez. Good luck for the Oklahoma City Thunder, folks. Good luck. You're gonna need a lot of hard work to get to that finals against the Heat. And here comes something new. The debut of El Blaze and Luchador from Mexico. His first debut as a major player. El Blaze. And his opponent, standing at 5 feet 6 inches tall. Playing at 202 pounds, and Ellen from somewhere in Mexico, the human inferno, El Blaze! El Blaze was a graduate student from uh, Lucha Libre Academy, starting his first career in uh, every indie event at Lucha Libre, then eventually joined in UCCW and Superstars. Welcome to the Major League, El Blaze! Good luck, El Blaze. All right, El Blaze gonna take on Goku. Here we go. Goku was known to the longest reigning tag team champions in Showdown, as we all know about that. And he was also in the semifinals in the the UCCW World Championship Tournament in the first season of UCCW. He lost to Hedge. He was known as a semifinalist. El Blaze, a graduate student from. At Lucha Libre Academy. He's been to every Lucha Libre event. He was the most outstanding rookie ever in Mexico. And then he wants to become a big professional wrestler. Then that's where he comes to UCCW. As a Lucha Libre style. Good luck, El Blaze. Goku with a pin! Can this be? And too early. Why would I call that too early for that one? El Blaze, look at El Blaze, look at El Blaze, he's gonna do it! Kick him right here, here's his action, here comes El Lucha Libre move and... Gutbuster! That's a good one. El Blaze right there, El Blaze right there, El Blaze with Hurricane against Goku! Goku's in trouble, Goku's in, Goku's in trouble for Hurricane by El Blaze, my god! El Blaze right there. El Blaze... Drop kick Goku out of the ring. Here's his cheers and spirits and whoa! Holy smokes! Hurricane run out of the ring! Good God! Now that's what you call an El Luchador! What a successful student he was! El Blaze! Unbelievable move he has done! Wow! Hurricane runner through the ropes. That has got to hurt. Man, no wonder why people love him in Mexico. He was an outstanding wrestler in Mexico. And you, CCW, that's going to turn whole things around. Pin, one, two, and no. That's going to be the shocker. And Goku and Karen DT. Good God. Could this be it? One. Two! No! And El Blaze with a Hurricane Runner right there! And yeah, Hurricane Runner never ends. Why am I have a dead proof fever? El Blaze right there. And Goku countered! Can Goku kick back on the top? And. Oh! Right there. Goku. I have no idea what's he doing. And Goku right there. Arm grapple and bulldog right there by Goku, the longest ringing tag team champions in Showdown with Gohan. Man, 
and up. Whoa! Holy! Man, you gotta love this Lucha Libre style. You gotta love it. Two and no! Not even two count. Look out! Oh! Goku counter from that Lucha Libre. You gotta love Lucha Libre. When did they become tag team champions? Oh yeah, episode two from the first season. Because they're be the longest ringing champions in showdown history, along with um, Stone Cold Steve Austin as a world champion. Man. Man, he's becoming like Dean Ambrose when it comes to longest ringing champion in, in the U.S. title. In WWE. Uh, oh, counter by Goku. Yeah, no way Jose by Goku. It's not going to fall for that huge lucha move. Uh, oh! That's going to hurt right there for a... Oh. Here comes Goku. That's... I know where this is going. Goku! Whoa! Here comes his moonsault. His Japanese wrestling style. Here we go. Yeah. I forgot to mention. We got pure wrestler against that lucha... Lucha wrestler. This is awesome! We got Goku elbow in the chest right there against El Blaze. And. Oh, there, here comes his move. Here it comes! Clothesline! Right at El Blaze. Going for the pin. There it is. One, two, no! Kick out. El Blaze counter right there. Nice one. El Blaze right there. El Blaze. Leg DDT right there against Goku. Goku right there. He's in trouble. El Blaze right there. Oh! Oh! Counter right Goku. Apparently has a knee problem right there from that countering he had. Hope he'll be alright. Oh, El Blaze. Right, look at this. He's gonna do it. Look at this. Oh! Counter right Goku. Goku with a leg drop. Look at that fan says, respect the mask. Respect the Lucha Libre. And Goku. And look at this. Oh, and there goes El Blaze. A body game leg drop by Goku. And now Goku. Goku back on top. Goku right there. Goku. Goku's going to do it again. Look at this. Leg drop. Here comes Goku with a taunt. Is he going to do something? He's going to do the side effect! Side effect right there. Goku right there. He's ready. He's ready. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Twist him. No! Twist him. No. <laughs> something from Daniel Bryan back when he was a heel. Here comes El Luta. Oh, here we go. Here comes El Blaze. The Circle of Blaze. No! Goku avoids getting a circle of blaze. There's no way where that comes from, Goku. Goku right there. Oh, DT. Oh, that was one wicked DT. Could this be it? One, two, three. No. You almost got a three. That was one wicked DT. That could have been it. Now Blaze is choking his arm in the rope. And now. Oh. The jalapeno leg kick. He loves jalapenos because he can tell from his flaming attire that he's wearing. And there he goes. There it is. Got him. Circle of Blaze. And touchdown. Pin two. Got him. It's over. Al Blaze's first victory in UCCW. What a match that was. That was a good match for Goku and El Blaze here in UCCW. That was a good hell of a match. But no one can stand a chance against El Blaze, including his Circle Blaze. And here comes his Jalapeno Kick. Jalapeno Kick. Boom! Got a lot of his Jalapeno Kick. And here it is at the end. El Blaze. Circle of Blaze, right at Goku, and touchdown, and that's his first victory match in UCCW. And your winner contest, 
congratulations, El Blaze, his first victory here at UCCW. His big career has just gotten bigger. So ladies and gentlemen, we gotta take a quick commercial break. Stay tuned for more actions here on Friday Night Showdown.